Nothing kicks off the day better than spending a week focusing on your nutrition, hitting all the macros, making the right choices, then hopping on the scale seven days later and seeing a weight drop. <sighs> Nothing's best than today up. That's the perfect way to start the morning. Since February 7th, that's uh, a little over two weeks ago, I started, my first weigh-in was 210.6. Today's weigh-in, 203.8. So 6.8 pounds so far. I'm feeling good. Wednesday morning folks and I have a swim this morning every Wednesday is masters swimming for me I love swimming with the masters because I am being pushed to swim harder than I normally would if I was swimming alone then I've got a really light run I've been focusing on running extremely easy as I build my volume back up aerobic heart rate only so for me it's about 135 or below so that sometimes requires me to walk a little bit if i'm hitting hills or if i'm on the treadmill between a 10 and an 11 minute mile just super super easy at this point still trying to get my heart rate back down after not uh, running for a couple of months and then hopefully i will uh, hit the weights and maybe do uh, some some stretching but that is it the rest of the day, got some sports this evening and uh, just a normal day, got work. Oh, and I almost forgot this backpack. I've had this mesh bag that I carry my swim stuff in forever, worked just fine, but uh, it was never quite big enough to get my towel in and things like that. And uh, didn't necessarily feel secure if I wanted to put my phone in it and things like that. So Synergy, I work with Synergy as an ambassador. You guys probably know that. Uh, has this swim bag they sent me. So I'm checking it out. Uh, I really like it. It's padded. It's got compartments for your phone and for my uh, cap. And I just, so trying that out this week to see how I like it. But that's it. It is 5.12. I gotta hit the road. Well, swim is done. That was 3,500 yards. Felt really pretty good, actually. My swim is slowly feeling like it's coming back. Uh, still fairly winded. Feel like my heart rate is pretty high even on easy swims, but each swim feels a little easier. I feel like I'm able to hold my more streamlined position uh, a little bit longer. I feel like as I get into 
a 150, 200 and above. Uh, my form starts to fall apart a little bit. I feel my body start to collapse, but uh, at least I've built up and uh, worked my way up from 50 to now uh, almost to 200 without feeling like I'm falling apart. So that's a good sign. Quick change. Oh, that lighting is terrible. Quick change. Now it is 7.30 and I am going to hit a quick run down at the tracks, runs through the city, and just an easy, easy 60 minutes. Make me work, make me sweat inside, make me feel like I'm alive. Take this hurt, lady, throw it in my face, don't let these bones slow you down. Cause I'm coming up strong, grass should I look greener, I need a true believer in disguise. If I'm loving you wrong, shall change and ever see me. This is definitely my favorite flavor, the strawberry lemonade from Puma. Ah, strawberry lemonade, definitely my go-to. Spit it out, I'm waiting Don't leave me contemplating my own life Save the bullshit for another man or lover Don't need a 40 clover to decide Cause I'm coming up strong The grass should've looked greener I need a true believer in disguise If I'm loving you wrong Short changing and receiving Girl, you best be leaving me behind Cause I'm old So that was one hour easy, and uh, by easy, I mean really easy. Just running at uh, my aerobic uh, heart rate level of 135 or less. So just trying to stick with that at the moment as I start to increase my mileage and increase the volume. Um, one, just to build my uh, aerobic capacity, and hopefully with time, I will start to get faster uh, working in that zone. Uh, one, trying to avoid injury. Uh, two, trying to increase volume without uh, getting super sore. And uh, then running hard just a couple days a week. Now, time for a quick bite for breakfast, cup of coffee, get cleaned up, and time to get to work. All right, well, it is lunchtime. I'm taking a little break from work, and before I eat, I'm going to hit a workout. I'm gonna switch it up today and hit more of a functional fitness type workout, more of a Metcon, uh, different movements for about 10 minutes each. All right, first movement, 10 minutes, as many reps as possible. I'm going to do a push-up into a renegade row, which is at the top of the push-up, you pull one dumbbell up, then the other. From there, pop up, stand up, into a press. I know there's a name for this, I just, I can't remember, it's escaping me right now, but whatever it is, I'm sure it's bad because these are terrible. Oh, that 10 minutes, that 10 minutes took forever. <laughs> that might have been ambitious. Whew. I might not have been ready for that yet. Uh. All right, 
I'm committed. I said 10 minute AMRAPs. We're doing three of them. Uh, next one is a kettlebell swing. <sighs> 10 swings, five pull-ups. My pull-ups kind of weak right now just because I haven't done many in a little while. So I'm gonna stick it to five every round. difficult. The kettlebells were actually really easy. That almost felt like rest. It was the pull-ups. My pull-ups are not, not where they used to be. A little extra heavy on my part. So I ended up breaking them down to three and then a couple of jumping pull-ups and then back to 10 kettlebells and back three pull-ups, two jumping back to kettlebells. Whew. All right. What's next? All right. Well, the last AMRAP is going to be bench press. 10 presses down onto the floor with the med ball, 20 pound med ball for 20 Russian twists. Back to bench, 10 minutes. Again, bench press, not that hard. Russian twists, that's what gets your heart rate going, gets the breathing going. Oh, goodness. But that is it. 30 minutes of work. Now, time for a bite to eat. Well, I just saw the Amazon guy driving away. I have a package and Perfect for, I've been doing these outdoor runs at night with the running club and it's really dark and everybody has these cool light up little vests. So I got one so I don't get hit. So this is the Knox gear running Vest, lights up, USB chargeable. This is a GoPro chest strap. It's the new one, which looks really cool because I don't know if I've actually mentioned it, but in two weeks, I'm headed on a ski trip. Actually, next week, I'm headed on a ski trip. I'm headed to Park City, meeting some buddies and skiing for five days. So hopefully I can get running in while I'm there because it is, uh, it really hasn't snowed that much there. So I think the streets will be clear. So I'll at least be able to do some running while I'm there. All right, I got sidetracked. This is what I ultimately was interested in getting. So let's see what this is like. It's called the Tracer 2. as a waist belt to stop it from bouncing around. USB cable for charging. Power button. Ho ho ho. Look at that. Different colors, blinking. Ooh, that's really annoying. All right, let's see if I can get it on. It 
Actually, right out of the box, it fits pretty well. Clips here, which I think, I think that's for adjusting it. I'm just not sure how to do that yet. Ah, okay, so these right here are made to secure this way so that the straps don't loosen. And then this guy back here is an adjustment downward. And that downward creates tension. So that way it's nice and tight. That's actually very comfortable. That's pretty sweet. Charge it, I'll use it in my next night run. Because I have a little bit of talent when it comes to graphic design, or at least I know how to work the programs, I get asked quite often to help make flyers for the PTA, the Parent Teachers Association for my daughter's school. And right now they are planning a fireside bingo for a mother and son. So that is what I'm doing this evening now that I am done with work. Uh, of the teachers, we have it each year. And now that, that I'm in fifth grade, I'm so thrilled. All right, well, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here. It is about 5.50. My daughter's goalie practice starts at 6.15, so we're about to run out of here. And then the rest of the night, goalie's done at seven, home, another meal for her, shower, book before bedtime, and then uh, to bed, and I will be going to bed. I go to bed around nine o'clock just because uh, four o'clock this morning, I was up at like 3.55 in the morning, so it is a long day for me. I am ready for bed now, actually. But before I go, just a couple things. One, as a father, I have come to recognize negative self-talk so much more. I hear to myself, I hear it in others, and I've really tried to make an effort not to do that, to try and redirect those thoughts, take a less harsh approach to what I think my lack in skills might be. Uh, and I really hear it in my daughters. And I really try and take the approach of helping them recognize when they're doing it and really talk about the situation or their perspective of the situation. We do it all the time. My daughter might say, I suck at singing. And she's working on this play right now. and. Really, uh, I try and help her with that in the sense that, okay, hey, one, you don't suck. I hate when she uses that word. And two, maybe you're not as good as you want to be or as good as others in the play, but if you really care that you're not as good as others, then let's address it. Let's make a plan. What can you do to help fix it? And in, in some cases, it's just, hey, trying to calm down how aggressive someone feels about something, uh, sometimes it's self-deprecating, or it could be something like, I can never do anything right. And the reality is, is that's not true. You're frustrated at the moment. But all of these little negative self-talks that we have with ourselves, these thought processes, they, they cause more depression, they limit your abilities, they really limit your thought process and they can bring others around you down. So one of the things I am really focused on is trying not to be negative about myself uh, in front of others. You know, it's really easy for me to go to the club run with a bunch of old track stars and people that are lanky and thin and built like runners and for me to kind of put myself down in front of them. It's really easy to do that. And I'm really trying to be uh, conscious of it and make an effort not to do that. And last but not least, I just wanna say thank you to all of you who left comments and gave a thumbs up on the last video. It was great to read your thoughts on why I should keep doing the videos. And as much as I might be motivating you guys, that feedback motivates me to keep making the videos, to keep training. 
I love it. So thank you all so much. And a special thank you to those of you who hopped on Enduris.com and bought some products. Uh, I love donating the money I make from these videos and these products to different organizations protecting and preserving the planet. So special thank you to all of you who did that in the last week. Thank you, thank you. And to my Patreon supporters, you guys get to see this video almost a week ahead of everyone else. So thank you all for that as well. But I gotta run. I'll see you guys in the next one. Are you ready for practice? Yeah. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you.